How's it going, YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for TVAPE TV in the studio with a very special video for you today. Today we have the top five best oil pens and 510 threaded batteries of 2021. We have a new poster. If you want to win this poster, it's simple. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and throw a comment down. That's it. We're going to be giving it away, not the next video, but the video after that. So get your submissions in. You love to see it. We are going to keep doing this because people seem to really like it. We're just going to skim the surface of all these devices, but if you want any more information, go check out our blog. The other thing I wanted to quickly mention, I'm sorry we don't have links in our videos. It's a silly thing to do with this platform, but I really wish that I could. Know that you can find everything on tvape.com. Without further ado, let's get right the hell into it. Sitting in our number one spot this year is none other than the Tronian Tautron. If you watched the video last week, you'll know just exactly how much I like this device. The sleek and sexy Tautron is calibrated for use with any oil, no matter how viscous. It is extremely budget friendly and gets the job done with style and aplomb. It is simple and straightforward to use. Simply take your cartridge, attach the magnetic adapter onto the bottom, drop it in, and haul away. The wide opening allows for cartridges up to 10.5 millimeters in diameter, which is roughly 90% of the cartridges you're gonna find out there. It is built incredibly well and has a really nice little viewing slot so you can make sure that your oil is at a level you want it to be. There's a small LED bulb on the back of the device that will light up when you inhale from it. It is simple to use featuring no button at all. Simply just draw activation. Look like I was giving you the finger there. I apologize. It also is so small and protects your cart so well that you can stash it in your pocket and it fits in almost any pocket. It fits in that pocket inside of your pocket in your jeans. You know what I'm talking about. The 380 milliamp hour battery will last you a full day's worth of sessions before needing a recharge, and it recharges via a micro USB cable at the bottom. The vapor I've experienced through the Tautron is thick and it hits really well. The airflow is calibrated both for top and bottom airflow cartridges. It fits in any budget, gets the job done, and looks sexy doing it, and that's why it's in our number one spot. Sitting in our number two spot is none other than the Pocket One Plus. Three power settings, a 660 milliamp hour battery to last you all day long. And again, the protective housing for your cartridge makes this guy an awesome addition to your oil collection. It is certainly on the pricier side, but if you're willing to shell out the dollars, you will not be disappointed. There are some cool colors to buy this guy in. I stuck with black, cause that's just how I roll, but there's like a purple, there's a blue, there's some cool colors. I would highly recommend checking it out. Plus Pocket has updated it, so now it comes with a cartridge. This is called the Spark cartridge. And it also has its tried, tested, and true magnetic adapters. So you can screw them onto your favorite cartridge and drop it right into the device. You can activate this guy either by pressing on the button or by draw activation, which is pretty cool. And it has a couple power settings, so you can adjust if you have maybe a thicker oil. It is seamlessly manufactured, is very pretty, and it's just a little bit on the pricier side. And that's why it sits in our number two spot. Pocket also has a new device coming out, the Pocket 2, which is super exciting. It looks great. We just haven't had a chance to get our hands on it yet. So I will post updates as soon as we get that into the studio. Coming in at number three, Vessel offers a variety of products that are all just classy as hell. Their flagship model, the, the OG vessel, if you will, comes in a plethora of colors and just looks incredibly classy in my opinion. Like it looks like an old school, like cigarette holder. Yeah, see, yeah, I'm so sorry. Not only that though, Vessel offers a number of different devices to fit anyone's style. The flagship model features three power settings, a 240 milliamp hour battery, and a protective casing for your cartridge. Of course, this limits the diameter you can have in your cartridge, but you can also take that protective shield off and then use it with any size cartridge. You just have to be a little bit more careful when touting it around. Personally, the one I like the best is the flagship model, and that's why I'm gonna talk about it the most. It doesn't have draw activation. You have to press the button and hold it down while you inhale, but it's still super easy to use. I have found the vapor to be robust, flavorful, and it just gets you from point A to point B. You know what I mean? 
I'd recommend checking out all the Vessel products and figuring out which one's right for you. But all of these reasons are why it sits in our number three spot. Coming in at number four, both the Neutron and the Pytron, Pytron are other offerings from Tronian that just get the job done and fit in any budget. They're simple to use and accepting of any cartridge size as they're a pen style device. The Neutron features three power modes for even more flexibility. The Pytron is draw activated. The nice rubberized finish on both feels good in the hand and they're both sturdy. The amount of times I've thrown these in my pocket with a bunch of other in there and they've come out no worse for wear. I really enjoy that about a pen. Obviously when you have a cartridge on top, want to be a little bit wary, but you know, I like to live on the edge. That's as on the edge as my life gets, I guess, putting a, a very sturdy glass cartridge in my pocket sometimes. The Neutron has an LED light on the bottom that shines up with the Tronian logo, which is pretty cool. And it's just a good idea to let you know when you're drawing and when you're not drawing. The Pytron also contains a tiny LED on the bottom that will light up as you draw. You'll notice the Neutron charges via a USB attachment while the Pytron charges with micro USB. For the Neutron, five taps to turn it on and two to change between temperature, three to activate that preheat function. And for the Pytron, it's just inhale to activate. They're both super simple to use, just like all of the oil pens on this list. They are portable, slick, and extremely budget friendly. And that's why they're on here at number four. Sitting in our number five spot, the Toki is the world's first wireless charging oil device. Press the power button in the middle five times rapidly to turn the device on. Then screw your cartridge onto the top and you're good to inhale. Tap the power button three times to change between temperatures. And there are four voltage settings for you to play with. It is built sturdily and has an interesting design. I personally like it. When I first saw the Toki, I thought the cartridge was gonna slip in between the device and like stay in the middle so you could see the oil level. And I thought that was pretty cool. Your cartridge is left a little bit unprotected, but no more so than any of the other pen style vaporizers we've talked about today. It's 400 milliamp hour battery gets the job done for sure. The Toki can charge one of two ways. There's a USB-C input on the bottom, or you can use the wireless charger that is sold separately. It's pretty cool. It's a QI charger, and you can just set it down and wirelessly charge your device. Obviously, the charger has to be plugged into the wall, but you know what I mean. It is another one of those devices that features a preheat function for thicker oils, which is always great. It is simple to use, features a unique design, and the wireless charging is a nice touch. That's why it sits in our number five spot. And that's it for this one, people. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think I missed anything, if you'd like to see a different paper as a review, if you're like, dude, let's get back to dry herb vapes. I know, I want to, but there haven't really been any cool new ones that really get me going. If anyone has any suggestions for anything to do, you know, throw it down in the comments and I will see if we can work it into the schedule. Guys, just another reminder to enter poster contest, like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, my name is Alex for T-Vape TV, and for all you connoisseurs out there, keep vaping.